well, we were both interested in, in art inspired by flight, always. But we found that the modern and contemporary part of it was uh, bits and pieces all over the world. So we decided to give a home, to give a, a place where all artists inspired by flight and flying uh, would have a home. That home is Flight Studio Gallery, located in Wynwood. It's the only gallery in the world dedicated exclusively to aviation contemporary art. Flight Studio Gallery was founded in 2003 by Oscar and Yvette Garcia. We definitely want to offer them a home and one place where, where all the contemporary aviation art comes together. The other thing that we're trying to do is to bring back the positive feeling of, of flying and flight. We look at the uh, inspiration that can, uh, mankind can have about flight, the sky. When, when you look at the sky, it's, it's the common factor to every human being. You might or might not have oceans or mountains where you live, but we all have the sky. So some artists look at it and, and feel that there is a common bond to mankind through flight. And, and those are the artists we represent. Flight Studio Gallery has represented a mix of emerging and established artists, including Charles Lindbergh's grandson, Eric Lindbergh, Fer Sukar, Herb Alexander, and Pilot O. I work for Eastern Airlines and also for Pan Am in several other airlines. And um, then I switched to art, which I love. It's my passion. Herve Alexander, who was born in France, still works as an aviation professional for Air France. He's been creating aviation-inspired pieces since 2006. What I'm trying to, to pass is the emotion of the, of the flight not so much the, uh, the, the um, I don't try to, to, um, to draw the exact uh, aircraft. Uh, uh, I think that the, the aviation work is sometimes boring because it's too technical, but I'm more interested by the emotion in the, in the flight. The paintings that I did for the gallery, I try to put my experience in aviation. So I, I paint like Easter Airlines plane, I paint uh, Pan Am planes. Uh, I live in the Bay of Miami, so I see the the Bay Watch helicopter. So I paint the helicopter. My art is a, a lot of colors, and uh, it reflects my emotions. I'm very happy. I like to put the colors in my art and make people happy somehow. Oscar and Yvette Garcia both work in the aviation industry, running their own well-known consulting business, Interflight Global. Oscar, who's been flying all of his life, flew professionally until seven years ago. Both share a passion for flying and aviation. Yvette has shared that, that, that intrigue, that, that, that mystery of, of flight with me. Uh, we met on an airplane. We met each other flying uh, over Europe on a, on a uh, uh, night uh, flying. And from there on, we have developed this, this uh, space together. My love for aviation started a long time ago. I traveled a lot as a little girl. I grew up in Singapore. Actually, I've been on an airplane before I was on a bus in my life. And uh, we used to travel a lot from Singapore and I always went to see the cockpit and I always enjoyed flying, the whole experience. This intense enthusiasm for aviation doesn't end with the gallery owners and the artists. The collectors are also hooked on flight. Meet television producer Chris Lone and aviation lawyer Tim Ravitch. To me, aviation represents um, a time machine, you know? I mean, if you look, it's, it, it, if you're fascinated just by uh, human beings and history and culture and travel and every business, uh, science, literally every aspect, facet of life can be wrapped up in aviation. You know, what other business, what other industry, you know, when you get on aircraft, you're looking at design, you're looking at culinary, you're looking at defeating the odds, you're looking at history, you're looking at transporting you another place, you're looking at, there's a lot of politics involved. I mean, it's, a, it's something that touches every, almost every aspect of our life. I want all of it. <laughs> um, it. There's such good things in here. I think there's a number of different artists that they uh, commission and do a lot of different work that will appeal to different interests. Uh, I sort of uh, uh, love it all, though. Uh, any the, the, the uh, sort of uh, busy designs, uh, the colors and the vibrancy are interesting to the very simple designs. In a time when flying for many people means discomfort, fear of terrorism, and rising ticket prices, what inspires such passion in these people who are still hooked on flight? 
what, that's what's all about possibility. And, and uh, the positive uh, aspect of uh, 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 mankind endeavoring something beyond what is ordinary, which is uh, to be bound to Earth through gravity. Uh, why does mankind want to fly? If we go back thousands of years to the, to the, to the Inca drawings or to the uh, uh, Tibetan uh, uh, sides of the sky, uh, that is the beginning. Why has mankind wanted to look up and, 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 and feel the experience of flight? I think it's because of the positive energy of mankind to, to reach higher and to, to be boundless. For more information about Flight Studio Gallery, log on to flightstudiogallery.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.